The harvest of timber in the Yankee Fork began in the mid-1800s. As more and more people moved in to the Yankee Fork and the mining industry grew, more and more timber was needed to support these activities. This led to widespread timber harvest across the Yankee Fork and significantly reduced the number of trees in and along the stream. The purpose of the Upper Yankee Fork Large Wood Restoration Project was to restore large wood to natural levels within the Yankee Fork between Jordan Creek and Eight Mile Creek. The cheapest way to accomplish this objective was to walk up the stream with a chainsaw and drop trees into the water. While that method was employed, it has the potential to simply delay the problem. Increasing the amount of wood in the stream but removing trees that might later fall into the stream. Additionally, root wads attached to the trees have a large effect on how trees move in the stream and the amount of fish habitat they provide. Therefore, trees were also put in the stream from off-channel areas by excavators and by helicopters when an excavator could not access the stream. Looking at the trees along the Yankee Fork, one might be surprised that logging has reduced the amount of wood in the basin, or that logging had even occurred at all. However, historical records confirm that the lodgepole pine forest currently present has regrown since the timber was originally removed in the late 1800s. These trees have begun to fall into the stream, but the amount of wood in the stream is still 37% of that found in similar unlogged areas. The project was also designed so that large wood placed in the channel could function in a natural manner. This meant that none of the trees would be artificially buried or anchored but would be allowed to move naturally within the stream channel. Krasik, Wood, South Fork. Yeah, go ahead. Hey Krasik, I was just going to let you know that uh, you can go ahead and shut down tra traffic control for letting traffic. Trees were put in the stream as if they fell in naturally from the bank. They were also put in to simulate avalanches and debris flows. So we're really excited about the effect of this project on fish. In fact, after we completed the debris flow in the lower reach, we found that juvenile shalmonids had moved into the new habitat within about 30 minutes of completion of that part of the project. After the large wood had been placed in the upper stream reach, we went back in and snorkeled some of those areas. We were really excited to find large numbers of juvenile Chinook salmon, as well as juvenile steelhead, bull trout, and west slope cutthroat in these areas. As we continue to implement this project, we are confident that it will result in a significant increase in the amount and quality of fish habitat in the Yankee Fork and ultimately will mean more fish in the river.